it's tomato hornworm season and I just haven't seen any get parasitized yet. So I am gonna go ahead and do what I do, which is pull them off and squeeze them until they, you know, squirt. I hate to take away the opportunity for the wasps, but I just don't feel like they're doing their jobs right now. I don't know if everybody is just behind. There's another one. I mean, you just can't ever underestimate the damage that these worms will do. These caterpillars. Um, there's another, look at that giant one. Holy cow. You know, I wish the birds would eat these things, but they don't. It's, it's super annoying. The birds are out eating my swallowtails and stuff instead of taking care of these little bastards. There's another one. So these are all on tobacco. Um, trying to, you know, I like growing tobacco. I think it's pretty. And this is a variety of tobacco that I got during the IPPS auction last year in Baton Rouge. It's, I don't know how I'm saying this right, Paraguay tobacco. It's from one parish and it's supposed to have like the most prized leaves. I don't use the tobacco. I just grow it because it's pretty, but you know, I don't want it to be all eaten up. And I do have tomatoes growing everywhere. So hopefully if I deal with these uh, tobacco hornworms now, um, they won't get onto my tomato plants. So there you have it. I'm like a seven year old boy out here squishing caterpillars. <laughs> So I keep finding tomato hornworms and tobacco hornworms. I kind of think they're the same, but I need to do some research on that. And I posted it on Instagram today, and of course someone was like, oh, you should relocate it. And you know, to be honest, I usually do, but I'm feeling kind of ornery and frustrated because I don't want them to eat everything. But so I thought that I would take her advice and be a humanitarian and move this guy out here on a tomato leaf so he has something to eat. I don't think there's anything in this border that they're particularly keen on. And, you know, let, let the survival of the fittest actually happen. And, you know, I, I get that they, you know, ultimately become a pollinator, but they are so destructive. It's It's difficult for me to wrap my head around how people <laughs> I guess if you're not trying to grow tomatoes and other things for the purpose of eating it doesn't matter to you when somebody when an insect comes and decimates it but for me I'm trying to make it so that I don't ever have to buy tomato sauce or salsa from the grocery store again so I depend on the tomatoes that I grow and if I let these worms just eat it all and I'm not going to have anything to be able to process and then I will have to buy subpar products from the grocery store and that defeats the purpose of why I garden. So here you go. I am making amends after I squashed like I don't know 20 by hand today. <laughs> so to show that I am not a completely heartless human being. Drop it here.